The light output from aftermarket lights has changed, and I don't know if the market is quite ready for it yet. Judging by the comments from all the people that purchased the Morimoto XB Evo headlights, some people call that light output a dip and it's not very good. Why do I have this dip in my light output? I should expect, which you should, you should expect a very good light output getting emitted. This right here is a pretty typical LED projector that you see in a lot of the aftermarket lights out there. The beam pattern, as you can see, is something you're very familiar with. The left side is a little bit lower than the right side. And although that's not a very bad light output, it could be so much better, and I don't know why this hasn't caught on until just recently. BMW is doing it. I wanna show you the light output from the adaptive laser lights. But first, we need to understand why I'm even saying that this is a bad beam pattern compared to that of the Morimoto XB Evo. I saw a lot of people in the comments speculating that the DOT FM VMSS 108 code has changed, and that's not the case. The codes have not changed. That's not the reason we are seeing different light outputs. What's really happening is we're trying to give you guys more light output compared to this. This normal light output has the light up here where you need it, the strong punch of light in the center where you need it to punch down the road, and then this dip comes down here so that you don't blind oncoming drivers. The main issue with this type of projector is that the cut is here and then the rest of this light output is just thrown away. And you can use this side of the beam much better. If you raise it up, it's going to project the distance of the light output down the road much further. Let me show you guys the new Morimoto XB Evo compared to this. Don't mind the fact that this 4Runner is completely pulled apart. This is our 4Runner we use for rallies like the Red Clay Rally. This is what the Morimoto XB Evo headlights look like. They're the latest and greatest. Let me show you what they look like on the wall. On some of the videos that we've uploaded, you'll notice that this is what they're talking about right here. This little dip. Now this little dip is interesting because unlike the other projectors, it comes back up on the left side, producing much more light output down the road. It goes from 40 meters of light to 75 meters of light. It gives you much more usable light on the left side. So are you losing light with this dip? No, you're still not blinding oncoming drivers with this part right here, but then you're getting more light on this side of the vehicle. Other manufacturers have been doing this for quite some time. That's why I showed you the BMW in the beginning. And if you wanna actually talk about something distracting, check this little notch out in this BMW light there and there. They're adaptive and they move when I turn the steering wheel and that's cool, but to me also, I thought that that little dip was very, very distracting. Really, it's just so I don't glare the oncoming drivers. That step on the left side comes up just like that Morimoto XB Evo headlight. Now, I'm showing you this BMW, I'm showing you the XB Evo headlights as an example. Like I said, Morimoto and other manufacturers are coming out with new headlights, and I think this is something that we just need to expect from here on out. A beam pattern that has a little bit more usable of a light output, and one that had much more thought put into it. Go to headlightrevolution.com. I test tons of lights every single day. Doesn't matter what vehicle it is, car, truck, we test lights. Once we find what's best, we put it on our website. We'll see you guys over there. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.